welcome back everyone. My name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Pathfinder Kingmaker. Where we left last time, we were just exploring around, waiting for the next main storyline thing to kick in. We're going to explore Nod Rocks, I believe. And then just kind of wander around a little bit, see what we can find over here in this new territory we've claimed. Uh, maybe find some kingdom resources, although our kingdom stats are pretty phenomenal at this point, but we'll see. Also, apparently Valerie took a beating sometime in the near- oh! There are gargoyles from Hoarfrost tribe now. Which I guess means that there is something named Hoarfrost around. Nice. Solid first hit. No, knock knock! You can't take damage! Oh, I should have five footsteps, damn it. Oh well. And just nah, like you five foot step in. Knock knock might be in the way. Yeah, he totally is. Damn it. Let us strike as one. Huh. Huh. Almost killed it, but not quite. Serves you right. There we go. How much experience is worth? 360. Pretty good. Amiri might be able to get in there. Hit for 32. That Lava Forge axe is really, really good. Knock knock, you see. First. Not too hard. But they do have loot, which I guess is just copper and agate and a copper ring. Or sorry, copper ring, jade, and agate. And then some just random gold, which is fine. Oh, I just picked up garbage. Oh well. There's another gargoyle. Who's in the front? Knock knock is in the front. There are three gargoyles coming in. And knock knock's supposed to take a hit. Not a hard hit though. Eight damage is not a lot of damage. Also, Knock Knock is critting like crazy, and I don't know why. We can go entire videos where we get the worst rolls ever, and then we'll have one video where we get amazing rolls. Stop hitting Knock Knock. Valerie needs to move up. There we go, she's tanking. That is important. Can you charge from this? No, it's not charge. Can you charge from this distance? No. Well, I mean, yes, but also very much no. Okay, stop, just stop. Just run out of movement, please. Uh, Amiri might be able to charge. Yep. Good. Well, at least we have a couple people in there. You I guess we're shooting at the injured one. Pretty decent amount of damage. Let's see if we can kill it. And Canaris, oh wait, hang on. Before, oh, she's got her knockdown on, good. Burn. There we go. <laughs> that double hit, one for falling over, one for getting back up. Worked out pretty well for us. And here's a bunch more things. Okay, so we have four more gargoyles from this tribe. Flames take you. We knocked one of them down. Can they even get past them? Yes, they can. I was going to say, did, can they even get past their knockdown companion? But the answer to that was very quickly answered, and it was a yes. Amiri, you can charge in. Why not? No, you can't. You can walk in, though, and maybe still hit. Yes, perfect. And here they come. All of the gargoyles. Every time I see gargoyles in that game, I always think of gargoyles the cartoon from when I was younger. That was a great show. I barely remember it though nowadays. I remember I had some of the toys. No idea where they went. Probably donated or thrown out one of the two. Just keep knocking it down. It's feared. Oh, cool. Let's just shoot it in the back till it dies. Miri's turn. Let it come to us. That way we don't have to move. They don't do a lot of damage. Her damage is pretty intense with that axe. Almost killed that one. 
but not quite. And then we missed. This is going to Oh, we died pretty quickly. Alright, everything's died. And we can move on. Collecting all the loot. Oh, hang on, my alarm's going off. I was successful in oh, my oh, oh, there's a thingy there. Why is there so many non-magical weapons here? <laughs> that is a lot of non-magical weapons. This is also a very tall mountain. For this game. It's not actually that tall in real life. Uh, actually it is. It's fairly big. I mean, falling down would suck. Oh, there's Horfrost. He is the Eldritch Chieftain. Regardless. We will kill him, but... I also want to start killing his little companions. Oh, that actually did a lot of damage. That Smilodon may, in fact, die. Flames take you. Let's move up. Let's see if we can help our Smilodon out. You deserved it. Those sneak attacks, though, are pretty brutal. That's what makes them dangerous. They have sneak attacks. I was wondering, because they're not very strong otherwise. He has 44 armor. Holy crap. Okay, so we need to take down his little companions and then we'll take him down. He has an absolute ton of armor. Good, she's well positioned to be the tank at this point. Our Smilodon's technically alive. Uh, we're going to be resting after this, are we? Eh, maybe not. Let's just bless them. We won't heal quite yet. So it hits pretty hard, too. Okay. Killing one of them. Two of them are shaken or something. Let's put some haste on. And there's our other Smilodon down. Let's make sure we get a full round attack on this one. Not bad. Uh, that one's down. Five foot step. Not not used to lighting enemies on fire first. Be easier if you not fight back. Okay, Valerie's turn. Stay behind me. Tomorrow's turn after this. She missed every. Oh right, because it has a billion armor class. Yay! It's attacking the right person now. All right, so it's gonna delay till after them. It's probably gonna keep delaying until we kill them. Honestly, ooh, that was a bad hit. Oh no, our tank is actually down. That's really bad. This is going to. Let's just make sure we kill them faster. Then, uh, we are going to need to hammer them really hard. Also, we can cast heal on Valerie. with Eltamar. Hopefully not die from doing it. Still one left. If we stand these guys up, they're just gonna immediately die again, so we can't do anything about that. I'm going to take an AOO from this, but that's going to just have to be what we do. Oh, maybe we won't. Cool. She is back to full-ish life. And that's just going to be his turn. Luckily, he can't really hit very well while apparently we're on the ground. And neither can the other thing. Alright, let's try and stand up. Maybe it'll be worthwhile. Yes, it worked out. Okay, we've only got the main guy left. This is where I step in. 
We did hit him. We hit him once. Twice. How did he hit me back? That was weird, but okay. Which knife to use? That hurts. Well, that was actually easier than I anticipated to finish up. Alright, what do we get? A piece of sky metal. Cool. Anything else? Anything exciting? Not really, actually. It's kind of disappointing. Let's just heal up our Smilodons. The sky metal's fine, but I was kind of hoping for something more. How are our Smilodons feeling now? About half life on one and about three quarters on the other. That'll just be good enough. We can't even leave from the top of the mountain. We actually have to walk all the way back down, which is a little annoying, but that's okay. Off we go down the mountain. That is just what our life is. Mountain walking. Oh, with haste on it took very little time. Haste is so good, I love it. I wish I could permanently haste my group. That might be a little overpowered, actually, now that I think about it, though. Alright. Let's go look around. So we own, we actually own this part of the land. We have a city. Somewhere. I think it's actually down here. I think we built a city in an area where I haven't even been yet. We look at our, oh, we can't look at our kingdom. Maybe we have a, oh yeah, we rule this area. Okay, that's right. Let's look at our map, because we have lots of stuff. So, our city is located here on just north of the border of Patax. North, sorry, north center of the border of Patax. Okay, let's take a look. So Patax is here, so our city should be, oh, it's right there, giant bomb. Yep, okay. Just blind, apparently. Resting would be nice. Wicked hill, someone's on the road. According to the guard, the king ordered the borders closed to keep the secret detail of the triumph. Can I go to Wicked Hill? Apparently not. Fine. I'll just wander off a different direction. I think we need to rest. I think everyone's fatigued, except for Valerie. And Knock Knock, surprisingly. Alright. Good enough. Let's rest. See if there's anything else up here. Yes, a desecrated cairn. Which is this way. And then this way. And that way. Let's take a look at what is in the desecrated cairn. We also need to do the Cyclops boss guy at some point. The one that's hidden behind all the shieldy things in that one area. What the? Your attention. There's a tribal fetish here. Okay. Someone gathered and brought here countless boxes, barrels, packs, and crates. Judging by the dust, no one touched most of these for months. The floor between the crates is scattered with items, clothing, weapons, provisions. Examining everything will take several hours. Let's search it up. Bunch of stuff, including a gnome hooked hammer called Datura, which is plus three. I'm we guessing when we try and leave there's going to be enemies. And there it comes. There's nowhere to sleep in this stupid hole. My back aches for the fourth day in a row because of the cold. Hi guys. With their mouths open, three hill giants stare at you puzzled. Finally after a long pause, one of them points a finger at you. You! Ask him, Grug. Shut up, Brick. The third giant has been silent all this time. Judging by his, his expression, he seems to be trying to figure out what's going on. Clearing his throat, Grug turns back to you. Who are you? How about that? As soon as I got bored of not fighting, a fight came and found us. With a violent giggling, Knock Knock bears his weapon. These good enemies, big enough for hero Knock Knock. I'm Eltamar, I was just passing by. Grug's thunderous laughter almost deafens you. No, this won't work with us. Breck licks his lips with his huge, sore-covered tongue. Ew. Let's eat them, Grug. We eat them, right? Grug answers with a menacing smile. What do you we think? Will I think you're gonna die horribly. But... 
Well, we're going to delay till after Lindsay so we can get haste. We'll take one hit from a tail giant on someone. Which tail giant? It might be... You know what? Our main character doesn't need haste. He just needs to not get hit by a hell giant. Not not gonna take a hit. That's fine. Canary doesn't need haste either. Hit for 40 damage. And... Lindsay haste. Alright, good enough. Let's start attacking the ones that haven't had a turn yet. Pretty hurt. Let's five foot step in and start taking this one down. Oh my god, Knock Knock, you are a killing machine. Amiri's turn. Let's go take on this one. And immediately kill it. And then charge in with the Smilodon. It's our good Smilodon, too. Our one that does more damage. And it just killed it as well. Okay, well that was a really easy fight. We didn't really even need haste all that much. But we did kill three more giants. That's it. How very unexciting, actually. Pretty easy fight. Really easy fight, I might say. I really want to see the last little bit of the Tenebra steps. I want to know how that finishes up. I really do. I'm really curious to see if the dragon... My dragon theory is correct. That it is the end boss. Also, I want to fight a dragon. I don't think we fought one in this game for a while. I'm trying to think if we ever fought a dragon in the original game. I don't think we did. Also, I don't think we have anything left to do in this area, for the most part. Would be nice. Can't get don't to Wicked think? Hill. We've done everything else, for the most part. We could also Dimension Door, by the way, into that... Uh, is it the Lonely Barrow? One of those areas that, uh... Maybe it's the Lonely Barrow. It's one of these areas, though, where we can go in and go through the portal. Maybe it's secret... No, it's not Secret Sanctum, that's for sure. Mm, gotta remember which one it is now. But it's, uh... Yeah. The one with the shielded door, and then there's, like, the four things you have to go fight things. Wait, did we have to talk to Bakken for what? Let's wander all the way over there and talk to Bakken. And then we'll see what there is to do. We're going to pass by the Tenebra Steps on the way. It's not going to raise its shroud, is it? Of course not. Probably not until we do Patax, if I had to hazard a guess. Although after we do Patax, we're pretty close to the end of the game. Like, Patax is one of the near the final things we do. Alright, let's go talk to Bakken. He wants something. We're, we're actually exhausted on some of our characters. And they're all slowed, but that's okay. Bakken looks tired and haggard. His face is gray, his brow furrowed, and his eyes shine with a feverish glow. Who's there? What is it? Oh, it's you. How convenient. I need your help. We have to run tests. What tests? I found the formula all on my own. These damn books didn't have it. Nothing but hints and half-truths there, but you can't fool old Bakken that easily. <laughs> What formula? The elixir of eternal youth, the most wondrous brew, restores the strength in one hand, in one's hands and the swiftness in one's feet. I first heard of it when I was still a lad, and I didn't believe in it, but now I've lived a long life and seen even stranger things, so I thought, why not give it a try? So I asked you to find these books for me. I heard that one of the volumes contains a formula. Well, it turns out they don't. All I do is make things clear as mud. Still, I was able to find something useful in there. I can't remember how many nights I stayed up working on the solution, but here it is. Bakken proudly shows you a few vials filled with a silvery liquid. Can't drink it yet. Must test it first. Can't be too careful with these things. Bakken gives me an expectant look. So will you help me? All right, I'll do it. Wonderful. Thanks for that. Let's try another dog first. There's a mud on a leash around the corner. Oh no, let's not do that. You can test the stuff on it. I won't feel bad if something goes wrong. I will. That'll teach you to stop barking at me every time I go past. I do it myself, but what if it's off leash? It won't harm you as it would harm me. I'm not tormenting living creatures for the sake of your ambition. Oh. Well, we should probably do it. I want to see what happens. I'm not loving the fact that we are using it on a dog, but I do want to kind of try and see what happens. What if it works? Come on. There we go. Okay. 
Oh, the sun's almost rising. It is very early here. This thing would be nice. I have a small, floofy biological alarm clock that wakes me up at six every day, so I'm always up early. Blah, blah, blah. What tests? What formula? Okay, I'll do it. I should go now. Where's the dog? Dog is around the corner. We should probably rest, though, first. That way we can not be extremely slow. Like, look at Lindsay and Eltamar. They're both like, oh man, just so tired. We're almost to sleepy time. I really like Amiri with her axe. It's pretty good. I don't know why we have to gather in this room. Surely someone can just collapse on a bed. It's not that hard. Alright, perfect. Is it nighttime? It does look like nighttime. It's all misty. Me see. Oh. Me keep. Did we steal Oleg's life savings? I think we might have. Alright, let's find this dog. There's the dog. Alright, dog. I'm gonna save first and hope that you don't die. I'd feel somewhat bad if you died. It's a typical dog. A street dog on a leash with a dirty yellow coat. Its watery eyes regard you without particular interest. Pour the potion in the mouth. Well, that's not a good sign. We turned it into like a battle wolf. And then we put it down. Nine experience. We'll take its skin. That's way worse. Alright. Bucket it didn't work. It made it into a monster. Your push made the dog go mad and attack me. A mad dog? Sounds wrong. Very wrong. I must have made a mistake. To the demons of the dog, we need someone more human to experiment on. You know what? My neighbor, a hunter, once told me he saw were-rats in a forest not far from here. They make better test subjects. After all, they're closer to humans than a dog. We should try and find them and try again. But take this vial. This potion has a very different, improved formula. Great. Experiment on a were-rat and report to Bakken. Where? We've killed all the were-rats around, I'm pretty sure. Maybe there's a new one that spawns for this quest, particularly. No. We found a quarter staff called Ruin, a heavy shield plus three, and a belt of mighty constitution plus six. I don't know where those were located. Probably in that chest up there. I think that's where some of the, uh... Um... What are they called? Like, crafter items are stored? Um, where rat layer? Okay, there is a new where rat area. Let's go take a look. I have a feeling this is not going to go particularly well, but we'll give it a shot. Hi, where rats. Hunched gray figures turn to face you as you approach. Yellow fangs show from grinning muzzles and clawed paws reach for weapons. Way to come in peace. The were rats freeze in intense anticipation, ready to pounce on you at any moment. Finally, you hear a hoarse, cracked voice. Move one finger and we'll cut your bald hide to scraps. What you need? A ruler of these lands, or the ruler of these lands, wishes to show that all who inhabit them are like children to him. In his grace, he gifts you with this a rare, noble drink. Wet tail, take the bottle off of him. The were rats exchange glances, clearly surprised. One of them approaches you and takes the potion. However, as soon as his clenched or clawed fist clutches the bottle's neck, he rips up the cork and greedily raises it to his mouth. A gulp, then another one, then another one, and the were rat falls to the ground, shaking with violent convulsions. That idiot, how predictable. The, uh, the leader shifts his animal eyes towards you. They've killed one of ours. Get him, boys. He definitely did die. We'll delay till after Lindsay. Because Lindsay will give us haste. Unsurprisingly, it killed him. It's basically just pure poison. He did not get knocked down. Because it turned itself off again. Because why not? That's mm, not going to be close enough. 
Or maybe it is. Perfect. Worked out fine. Oh my god, that werewolf... Where rat leader is very difficult to kill. Maybe it's a talky one. It is a talky one. Okay. How is it not dead? It's just sleeping. Kinda. I'm sort of confused. Are we not supposed to talk to it? Okay. Well, let's search the area for anything of note. Out of doubt. Although it's not looking good for any treasures. There are no treasures. Perfect. Let's get out of here. Did we leave that where we're at? There we go. Alright, let's leave. Back to Bakken we go, and then we're pretty, pretty much done with this video, I think. And then what I'm going to do is do the ruling things that have popped up, because there's an exclamation mark. And we'll figure out what to do from there. Back to Oleg's. Your next potion literally just killed a thing. It didn't even turn it mad, it just flat out killed it. I wonder if Bakken's gonna kill himself with a potion. Thinking he needs to test on like a human, he's like, I can do it myself, and then he'll die. The were rat died from taking the potion. Is that so? Hmm, the were rat simply died, and the mutt gone rabid. You see, my potion wasn't meant to do anything with the mind, only the body. We'll need to go for one final test, it seems. We must try the potion on a human. An elf would do just as fine as well, or a dwarf, or... Bakken takes a small glass vial from his pocket. He exhales sharply, takes a few gulps, and the vial is empty. Of course, he's eating it himself. Oh, good. A giant... Terrifying Bakken. With 40 armor class. And our main character is literally in striking range. Also, he's impossible to hit. Nobody's hitting this dude. Can you move in? Perfect. Alright, we'll cast haste so maybe we can get our main character out of the way. He is Forgive me. punching for a ton of damage. Alright, well we gotta take him out. I've never done this quest before, actually. I hope we can not kill him. Not not used to lighting enemies on fire first. We did kill him, I think. The old man's eyes are beginning to clear. It seems he's going back to his senses. What? What happened? The potion clouded your mind and you attacked me. Gods, forgive an old man. I didn't know what I was doing. Bakken wipes the sweat off his brow. I never thought the potion could work in such a way, but still, it does. It seemed to make one stronger. Thank you for your help. Now I know how to iron out the wrinkles, I think. You're insane, Bakken. You're insane. Alright, well, we did the quest, I guess. Technically. And we're at about half an hour, so it's a good time to quit here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. I'm going to do ruling things. Hopefully some more quest stuff will come along. We don't really have much else to do at the moment other than look around. And I'm going to go look around for where that portal place is. We can probably just go in, or maybe we can just kill the things in question. I know we have a couple things to do. We need to find this place. Oh, right. I guess I need to bring Mim... Elven Absinthe or Berry Wine from Kionin. We'll do that as well. Alrighty, like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.